A little hermit crab in a dog whelk shell. Hermit crabs are said to take over the shell after the whelk has died, but we have witnessed crabs in aquarium killed to steal their homes. A common spider crab wearing his camouflage suit. Sponges have attached themselves to him, and what seems to be general rubbish attached to his shell are actually all manner of hydrozoans which help him to hide, just like they do in cartoons walking sideways. Notice the antenna which are used for tactile sensors. Here we could almost imagine that he were wiping his eyes. What the larger crab is doing to the small is difficult to imagine. The larger hermit crab inhabits the shell of Neptunia dispecta, or Clenchus Neptune. Here we see him literally raking food into his mouth. If he carries on like that, he will soon need to move house again. Here we find another Laurel and Hardy pair. Could this be some sort of mating process? It's interesting to watch the way he uses his little arms as well as the filigree hairs around his mouth. The rest of the crab stays motionless. A large sponge and a little crab. Hermit crabs need to find a tiny shell as soon as they are born to live in. Carrying your house on your back can be a cumbersome task. These are squat lobster and are similar to the lobster in appearance. They have a characteristic blue hue on their feelers. Perhaps they are some kind of fishing tackle. The mouth parts are reminiscent of little forearms as they shovel up the plankton. This type of sea anemone is called Hormathia digitata. This variety grows only on whelks though it will also grow on whelk shells that hermit crabs have taken vacant possession of. The Hormathia gets a free ride and is able to mop up the leftovers that float or drift around. For the crab, the poisonous Hormathia on his back makes him into a force to be reckoned with. Finally, we see a Piquito crab on the seabed in Grundafjord the Fjord in December. This is a new species around Iceland that has recently established itself. When the diver picked it up, its egg sac became visible. He slashes out with his claws, but huddles around his eggs to protect them. 